Want to see how AI can instantly turn scattered ideas into something clear, connected and ready to use? Let me show you what Context can do. I'll start by generating a complete research map from just a few nodes, and then we'll break down how it works, why it's different, and how it can change the way you organize everything you're working on. I'm Daniel, and this is a deep dive into Context, a powerful workspace that feels like Notion, Google Docs, and your favorite bookmarking tool had a brainy, well-designed baby. Whether you're a student, a knowledge worker, or someone constantly juggling articles, notes, and tasks, Context has some serious potential. Guys, make sure you check out all the useful links in the description after watching this video. There might be some nice discounts there. Let's jump in. What is Context? At its core, Context is an all-in-one AI workspace built for modern teams, seamlessly unifying collaboration tools and workflows into a single intuitive platform. It's designed to help you collect, connect, and work with information in one continuous flow. Instead of juggling separate tools and tabs, you get a workspace where daily tasks, including collaboration and even automation, all live side by side. At the heart of it is the Context Engine, a smart AI that continuously learns from your past work, relationships, and interactions. That means the more you use it, the better it gets at understanding your needs, suggesting relevant content, and generating tailored outputs. Whether you're pulling together a research doc or collaborating on a presentation, the AI is working with you, not just for you. And unlike traditional tools like Microsoft Office or Google Workspace, this is a co-pilot that actually works. No plugins, no patchwork, just results. And it integrates smoothly with your existing tools and workflows, helping you streamline tasks, automate routine processes, and stay focused on the actual thinking part of your work. Think of it as cursor, but not just for code. Context is cursor for the entire office suite. Documents, slides, research, even dashboards. And it works across all of them natively. And because Context unifies these tools, you stop switching between apps. It's all in one place. If you have ever tried to manage a research-heavy project using Google Docs, Notion, and 20 open tabs, you'll immediately see the appeal here. How it works. Okay, guys, let's take a closer look at how Context works in a real-world scenario. On the home page, I select the Q1 Financial Strategy template, one of several ready-made options designed for business and finance use cases. The moment I click, Context automatically generates a detailed prompt and initiates a smart conversation with the AI. There's no need to write anything manually. The prompt includes everything needed for a full strategic report, from financial projections to risk analysis. This stage takes just a few seconds, and the process starts immediately. Now Context begins generating the content. Behind the scenes, it pulls data from reliable open sources. Then it performs a deep dive into overall business health. The AI studies patterns and builds out forecasts. It also suggests big-picture moves that can drive growth. It factors in resource allocation and risk. That includes both financial exposure and how efficiently the budget is being used. All of this happens in real time. A deep research process that would normally take hours, now completed in a few minutes. And here's the final result. A complete executive-level strategy document, generated entirely by context. What you're seeing, folks, is a clean, logically structured report based on current financial and market data ready to support confident business decisions. The report reflects a deep level of analysis, from forecasts and budget planning to performance tracking and strategic priorities, all synthesized into a single, cohesive document. And all of that happened automatically. From click to finish report, it took just a few minutes. That's the power of using context for research-heavy tasks. It gives you structure, insights, and speed, without the need to jump between tools or manually piece things together. With context, you don't need to switch between apps. It's all here, unified in one seamless interface. This is an AI assistant for knowledge work. Not just helpful, but essential. You can also verify facts, add an executive summary, polish the writing style, or insert a table of contents. All directly within the same interface. Built in the US, context offers a performance edge over offshore solutions with smarter retrieval, deeper insights, and higher reliability. Guys, it's American-made AI with the scale to take on and beat the biggest names in the space. To add to that, you can modify and iterate the outputs in real time. Want to tweak your analysis or regenerate a section based on a new insight? Just as context and it'll revise the document without starting over. This makes it not just a report builder, but a collaborative, evolving research assistant. It's like having an AI intern that handles the research, writing, and formatting. 
so you can focus on the decisions that matter. It saves you time to be more human. Guys, before we move on, I try to make my content fun instead of boring. And in return, please like this video and subscribe to my channel if you enjoy the content I make. Key features. One of my favorite parts of using context is how it lets you move between writing, thinking, and actually building out your materials, whether that's a document, a slide deck, or even a spreadsheet. My friends, when you're drafting, you can generate a doc, make edits yourself, or just ask context to add or remove details for you. It's fast and flexible. And when you're mapping ideas, it becomes this open canvas where you can connect notes, move blocks around, or create a visual hierarchy that helps you see the bigger picture. So you can clip articles, pull quotes, summarize key points, and then turn that into a structured doc or a slide outline without leaving the canvas. And because collaboration's built in, it's easy to share your work, leave comments, or even assign tasks as you go. Use cases. So whose context really for? It's perfect for anyone who spends a lot of time with AI tools and wants one place to bring together their documents, spreadsheets, and ideas. If you're looking for a smarter way to consolidate your workflow, context gives you the clarity and flexibility to do it all in one space. For example, guys, let's say you're creating a YouTube video on tech trends. You can clip articles as you research and summarize them into blocks. Then you can arrange your notes visually into a storyboard and write the script all from one space, no switching between apps and your notebook. It's just all there in context. Same goes for creative work or planning. Whether it's long-term thinking or daily organization, everything stays connected. Design and experience. What really sets context apart is the experience. The design is clean and fast with keyboard shortcuts and drag and drop gestures that make organizing things feel satisfying. It doesn't feel like you're just storing data, it feels like you're actively working with it. The visual linking system is especially useful. You can see how different pieces of content relate, click through to jump between ideas, and rearrange your space as things evolve. It's kind of like a mind map meets a research notebook. And it looks good too. Final thoughts. To wrap it all up, context is shaping up to be one of the most useful, thoughtfully designed productivity tools I've tried lately, my friends. If you work with a lot of ideas and research, and you're tired of jumping between apps to manage it all, this might be your new favorite workspace. This isn't just a better document editor, it's a whole new way to work. Big thanks to the Context team for letting me test out the private version. If you enjoyed this walkthrough, give it a like, drop your thoughts in the comments. If you found this video helpful, feel free to like or subscribe for more content like this. Thanks for watching, until next time.